Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Chills and welcome back to my channel. I am here to plan the week of the 28th of September in my um, A5 wide planner, coiled planner. I've got these four boxes from Scribble Prints Co. And then I just have a load of foil stuff here. So I've got um, some foiled, solid foil headers from my shop, then I've got lots of glossy overlays because I am going full on glossy this week because I want to use these glossy things. So I've got um, bow headers from Scribble Prints Co. Uh, Confetti head is from Strawberry Land Designs, some Sadie stickers and some Strawberry Land Designs and some Cozy Paper Co. foiled overlays. I've got some date covers from Planner Vase and I've got some Sparkle headers from Anything Elsie and some Glitter headers from MT there. I also have two washi tapes. I have this one from Colourful & Co where you can use Tilly Tent to save 10% and then this random one that I got, I don't know why. I also have my Rose Coloured Days bougie boxes and we are going to be using those. So this is going to be an exciting and very, very different week. Um, I have the foil stickers pulled out in my Planner Phase reusable sticker album. At both Planner Phase and Colourful & Co you can use Tilly Tent to save 10%. Um, I get a discount for promoting Planner Phase's stickers but I don't at Colourful & Co. I just, she's an awesome human basically. And that's that. So without any further ado, I'm going to get on and get the base of this kit down. It's going to be a bit of a longer base because I am um, going to do the bougie as well. So we'll see how I get on and go from there. No joke, I think this is the most hot mess and all over the place um, laying down of a base that is to happen. I know you're only at the beginning of it, but honestly, I just found this really, really difficult. Um, I don't know how people do this every week. I suppose you get better at it probably if you do it every week, but it just... I just felt stressed out doing it and that's not what planning is meant to be about it's not meant to be like a stressful event so i don't know why it was so bad but it definitely was like i just don't understand how people do this every week and don't get really frustrated like i don't know do you do bougie boxes every week do you do this style every week like oh yeah i just felt all over the place and i am changing up this plan with me quite a lot it's going to be a plan with me where I'm gonna use, um, not put my text in. So normally in my memory spreads, I have a load of text where I talk about what's gone on in the week. But I thought part of the changing up of this week I thought I'd do was that I would um, just leave my text out and just have the boxes and stuff and do like a, what a lot of people do, memory planning with no journaling in. Um, I quite like my journaling, but there was nothing like huge this week. It was literally just, being at work, working on the house in various ways. And yeah, while that's super exciting and stuff, I just don't think there's a lot to journal about in it. So I'm just sticking with um, only, what do it? Only just putting the actions in. It also allows me to use the full box on every day without like a million, um, 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 what's the word? Why am I struggling so much with words without a million um, day extenders? I probably am going to use some day extenders, but that's future me's problem right now. I'm just going to put the base down and hope that I don't need too many day extenders. <laughs> um, I don't think I will, looking at the amount of stickers I've got every day, but you never know, really. Um, you really never know. So yeah, for me, it's really weird putting like all of the foil down at the beginning and stuff like that and I can't decide what I think of my new lights at all and um, so yeah I've got new lights basically because my old ones were giant um, and make it really hard in this room because this room is a lot the room so and I have a dedicated office space for Tilly journals um, and it's amazing having a dedicated space however the room is a lot and I mean a lot smaller than the room I was in and the lights I was using just are not gonna work in here because they would take up like so much of the space so I don't really know what I'm gonna do um, about it because um, I am not digging on these lights because of the glare on glossy and probably filming a plan with me on glossy paper first was not a good shout um, well to be fair it's not the first plan with me I've filmed but it's the first it's the, well the first plan with me I've filmed since putting the lights where they're going to stay. Um, and it's one of the first ones you're going to see, I think. I think. Is that right? Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, we will see what I think later. 
I will make a decision at some point. I'm sure. So yeah, this base has been a really, really long base. Um, I reckon it's probably about like to start off with before I've sped it up about 20 minutes, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll see. And it doesn't help that some of the foil overlays, the cozy sticker, cozy paper sticker co ones haven't been very well cut. And in fact, I just completely ruined one, but I need to use it because I do. Um, so I'm just gonna have to ignore that it's not perfect. And hopefully you won't be able to tell too much once it's down, which you can't, good. Okay, so after the longest base ever, there we have it. Um, these lights do make look bougie boxes look really glary, so I'm sorry about that. Um, right, let's move on to the day by day, which is gonna be a lot harder than I anticipated, and I didn't really think about this because I'm gonna have to pull in um, my functionals as I go along, which is gonna be interesting. Um, so I'm gonna pop my morning routine down most days and let's start with Monday. In fact, I'm just, shall I run through Monday or shall I, oh, I don't know how to do this. I really don't. Um, so Monday I want to mark morning routine and then I finalized my plan with me. Um, which I think I might just pop on, was that green? Um, the blue pencil, to be honest. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do things on this day, but we're gonna make it work. I really don't know what I'm doing. Can you, can you tell? Um, then I want to mark being at work, which I'd quite like to pull in a square box. And I haven't got my square boxes. Where are they? Um, Where's my, um, oh, it's here. Have I just put square boxes in here for now? Is that what I did? Um, yes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark in work every day on these. Um, and then I want to mark in doing some online learning as well. And I think if I have, uh, I'm just gonna pop all the stickers down for the day and then worry about putting the actual stuff in. Okay, so for this first box, we've got morning routine this with me is going to be so much hard work and I'm sorry um, in advance for the hot messes because I already feel it hard in my soul and then I finalized my plan with me which is going to go on that pencil and then I was at work which was just a day shift but um I probably should have pulled in a bigger heart one of them so let's see if I've got one easily accessible do I have a bigger work sticker yes I do oh winning at life here if I can peel it up there we go and that was a day shift there and then I did some online learning while at work and those two those three stickers are all at the same size because I can't use my brain and I don't know that I'm going to be able to peel it all up so I'm going to move this day shift sticker to another day if I can even peel it off the bougie and we're going to put another <laughs> day shift sticker down on that day instead wow i apologize i really do this is already so hot messy and i feel a little bit stressed out about it but it will be fine i'm sure um so i need to put this squared off box down and then lift up that moti over it there we go then i have a dino and a day shift script and let's try that again Put my dyno in and my day shift script in. That's just gonna have to do. I don't care. <laughs> uh, the likelihood of me speeding this video up and just dealing with that is high right now. Then I'm gonna pop in this, which is actually a day cover, a blank day cover, um, for doing my Instagram scheduling. Then I did a budget check-in and it did had some planning time. I think the planning time is just gonna go free floating at the bottom. And then we're gonna fit whatever we have space for in the gap. Um, so I think probably like, what color don't we have much of on this day? I want something bluey, I think, like that tealy dark tealy blue that's pulled in lots of places in this kit. Um, this one will do. Probably have taken a third box, but that's not what I had to hand. So it's just gonna be that. And that's just for checking in with my budget. There. Okay, that's Monday done. And, oh, I'm really not digging these lights. 
Okay, so we have a lot less glare, but you don't see the foil as well at the moment. I just don't think these lights work with glossy stickers, which isn't good because I've bought quite a lot of glossy stickers recently, but we'll deal with that later. Anyway, let's just get on with it and try not to get worked up, to be honest. Oh, fuck it. I think I'm probably going to have sped up and voice over this video at this point, but we're just going to plod on anyway. So Tuesday. Um, did my morning routine and then sorted out the wardrobe. Um, what shall I use for that? I kind of want to use some more brownie coloured stickers. So morning routine is just going to be free floating. And that's going to be for sorting out the wardrobe. Um, then it was work, which I have my day shift. I feel like this is probably going to be too big some days, but it will be fine. We'll just make it work it's fine um because there's quite a lot to mark on the wednesday oh no i don't have didn't have work on thursday so maybe it'll be okay um so that's there and then i made my budget book and let's just use something littlish for that um i don't it's really hard to pull out stickers as you plan um i don't think i realized how difficult this would be um probably not a good first video to film under new lights um but oh well my own my own fault for doing it um then i did some more sorting of clothes um balanced my budget and i did some planning in front of the tv um so i'm gonna use this blue box it's maybe a bit bright but i'm gonna make that work for that then I think I might use a flag or something next. Um, yeah, let's use one of these nudish coloured flags there. And then I'll just squeeze something little in at the bottom. Probably just a little thing for watching some Once Upon a Time and TV. So, um, then planning. So, looking back to my stickers. Uh, you've got morning routine first then oh that needs to be at the other side doesn't it silly tilly there that there for sorting clothes making my budget book doing some more clothes organization balancing the budget there and then plan and that is Tuesday all done okay I'm feeling a bit better about this I am I promise um I actually think what I've done with the lights works quite well because you can still see some of the foil wiggle um I think it's just the bougie boxes don't work very well which is a shame because I've just got bougie boxes um but maybe I'll just mostly use them when I'm not planning for you guys right on Wednesday we started with my morning routine what a surprise it's like I do that nearly every day um then I did I had some scissors what are the scissors for um again was working on my budget book I should think again a little thing is probably best um, I don't have that many little things in greeny colors that's not the right shade of green let's use that one that works um then I packed orders how many things do I have to mark on this day let's just go back to my stickers okay quite a lot so um i think for packing orders i'm going to use a flag maybe a pink flag does that work probably do i have a little pale pink flag i'm literally just like flicking or just off camera i'm just flicking through this and um, you just can't see what i'm doing and um, to be honest this video i'm 90 percent sure is going to have turned into a voiceover one but we're still going to try we're going to try and then balance budget can be on this blue and then can I fit a little thing in as well probably not so let's just have that there and then we need to fit five things in the other box so how I'm going to do that is beyond me um I anyway, know I need to fit five in both boxes really so I think this flag is going to have to come up we'll use a smaller pink flag I'm sure I've got some smaller pink flags somewhere whether I've got a small pale one is a different question but what I do have is this um that should work sorry the um 
sticker wants to be on this side, that side, so this wants to be on that side, and then this blue box can come higher up, and then we should be able to fit a little thing right at the bottom. <laughs> There's a lot to mark on the Wednesday, and I don't want to use um, extenders if I can possibly avoid it, so um, see if we can get this little thing in without it looking dumb. I may just have to rearrange these stickers a tiny, tiny bit. And by a tiny, tiny bit, I mean a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know why I've gone into some funny accent. I don't know what accent it is, but I know it's an accent that is not my own. Um, but it will work out, I'm sure. These are like Hobo Weeks size boxes, that like pink one is. That's what, why it's like skinny. But I actually really like using them in easy... Uh, I actually really like using them in A5 wide side planners. I think they look really, really cute. Um, I'm nearly there with rearranging these boxes. Nearly there. There we go. Okay. And then again, in the bottom box, I think we have to fit another five things. <laughs> oh dear. What is this? What is this day like? Um, it's just a lot to mark. Um, so... Should I fill in this box yet? Yeah, why not? So we've got morning routine at the top. There. Then. Got some scissors for making my budget book. Then packed orders. Just got this little girl and a pack order script. And then balanced the budget. This is ironic because I've actually lost my budget book since then. So. This has just all got done and then got thrown out the window. <laughs> Useful, right? So we're balancing the budget and then putting in editing at the bottom here. And then I did some filming after that. The hollow looks great in these lights though, I have to say. Um, right. In the second box, I did some filming Let's grab something green. I kind of want something like a dark, dark green. But I don't have that many green stickers, to be honest with you. So I don't know when, what's going to work. That will do. So we've got that for filming. Is that right? Then I wrote some blurbs, which I think I've got a small blue flag somewhere. Yeah, which can be used for writing blurbs. Then um, I organised my clothes some more um, and I think I'd quite like a dark grey. Can I fit a quarter box in? We're going to see. And then I think two little things for... Um, is it for writing cards and then watching TV? Is that... Yeah. So um, for writing cards... Um, like 90% sure this is going to have been sped up at this point because it is a real hot mess. Okay, so for these we've got this little thing for filming my budget video there. Then I've got a little laptop for writing my blurbs. Then sorted out clothing. Wrote a load of cards. I tend to write my cards like monthly and then just send them out as the birthdays come round. And then watched some Disney Plus whilst planning. And that like kind of fits. It's a lot on one day, but it's fine. <laughs> right, on to Thursday, which also has an awful lot to fit in, considering. I um, feel like I'm going to not be able to use a label for uh, words. Why are words so hard? Why is this fun with me so hard? Ah, right. Okay, so I'm going to start off with morning routine, which I think is just going to be free floating. And then I'm going to put in a um, pink label, uh, appointment label for um, doing some Facebook posts. Then I want to mark in work, which I want to use another square box, but I just don't think there's room. So I'm going to jump down to the bottom and work my way up to see if I can make room for it. So the last thing to mark... Um, well, no, if I can fit four things in. So let's grab a box for a square box for um, my day shift. 
and I think um, I think a green one maybe that green does that work hmm I don't know what box to use why am I like this oh there's loads of brown ones let's use one of them um, I have a box there yeah I can fit four things in with a box still I just need another little thing and um, that will be fine um let's go blue for the other thing which i need skinny skinny blue skinny skinny this one will work well and that should be four things in there yeah and then in the other box i also need to fit another four things is that right i might just go through speed up for a minute and put all the boxes down and then we'll talk you through the actual plans as i stick the six down does that sound like a plan um, because I'm going to do it anyway, whatever whatever other people think, it's what I'm going to do. So we're going to make it work. I think this is a really nice compromise of managing to try and keep um, this as a talk through video without me getting too, too stressed out about everything because I really was starting to get really overwhelmed and really upset about how this plan with me was going. And like, I think it's just, I haven't done a memory spread in a little while and um, it feels like a lot of pressure because I'm using the Scribble Prints Go kit and I know that sounds ridiculous and it is ridiculous. I accept that and um, it really is ridiculous but it's, it's how I feel and so I just I need to accept it and take that I can do this from this and then just worry about everything else later and just like enjoy planning rather than getting stressed out about it. Okay so we have all of the boxes down so let's get these stickers down and this plan with me sorted so thursday first thing to mark as usual morning routine yes there and then um thursday what what's the second thing oh i did um, scheduled a load of facebook posts in my group and then i had a day shift at work and um, i feel like i need to center that square box a little bit more this is a problem with putting all the stickers down first, is that now how do I get the sticker up? Oh, meow. <laughs> this is fine, it's fine. Oh my God, that noise is horrendous. Good. There we go. Let's actually do the next day's day shift um, as well, because I think we're gonna have the same problem because we've got a little foxy there. Um, and he just does not take up all of that space there. There we go. Um, so let's just fix both of those at the same time because why not? Apologies for the horrendous noise. There we go. That's that. And then on Thursday, we then did some filming after work. What did I film? Probably my budget, yeah. Filmed some of, no. Why have I got a happy meal? Oh, I filmed my haul and then my budget. I don't know why I'm marking those separately, but I am. Um, that would have been one way I could have tried to fit less in on this day, but it's too late now, I've done it. Um, and I haven't like lined those up, so they are, these are both on the same side, but there's a thing in the middle, so I'm gonna leave it to that. Then I did some editing, and then I did some packing. What did I pack that day? Uh, oh, I sorted out all my hair stuff. And then I did some planning in front of the TV. So that's just there. Gorgeous. On Friday, we had my morning routine. That just goes in there. And then I did some editing. And again, I may have to move this box because my little munchkin is little and I just think it'll look better. So I'm just going to peel up both of those and center it a little bit better. Um, I just think it will work much nice, more nicely. There we go, that's fine. Then what else did I do on Friday? I had work and then I had a patient I was quite worried about, I think. Was that that day? Um, then I packed up my desk. I sorted out shop stock and the dividers. And then I watched Once Upon a Time. And that's that day. On to Saturday. Again, first thing, shockingly enough, is my morning routine that we're marking in. It's like that's what we mark every single day, isn't it? 
got morning routine marked in there then we have youtube comments i sat and replied to those um then i did something what's this for oh i worked on the dividers for shop stock there and we went mattress shopping and then did some also did some grocery shopping and also got a cheeky little mcdonald's then there was horrendous traffic on the way home then i spent ages sorting out the kitchen and here is where i'm going to reorder some of these stickers i'm going to pull this um, appointment label higher up um i didn't really look at like the things i was marking when i was putting the stickers down i just put what was going to fit <laughs> and that one wants a bigger box and then i'm going to put the green one back down and then the gray one back down and they had bigger gaps in between them before so let's correct that this is so much effort how do people do some white space planning every week it is so much hard work i can't cope with it um <laughs> So that's for sorting out the kitchen cupboards. Then I sorted out some clothes there. Did some cleaning. What was I cleaning? Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Clean and organize. And then I chose stickers and watched some once upon a time there. And that is that day all done. And it was also two weeks till moving day. So that's where we're at so far. Last but not least, Sunday, we again started the day with morning routine. And I have marked morning routine in the same way every single day. So yeah, then I again did some more work on my dividers, did some various packing bits and pieces. Um, then had some stress about the pool table, working on King's uh, new house and stressing about the pool table. Then that's just to mark something in. We're just gonna pop there. Then did some cleaning. I don't know what this pencil is for on the Sunday. Sorted out my stationery. Filmed a plan with me. And then watched some more Disney Plus and Once Upon a Time. And that is everything. So I'm just going to go through and write everything in. Obviously, there's not going to be as much to write in as normal because. Uh, you know, um, not the, not the, what's the word? I've not put like blocks of text in. So whilst I'm writing everything in, I just wanna briefly talk about a um, Black Lives Matter issue. And I just want to mention that pe uh, people's ignorance, basically, people pretending things aren't going on and saying they're all for racial justice and basically like hidden racism. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so when people pretend that they're all for Black Lives Matter, but then they do like super racist stuff, like moan about things that are promoting Black Lives Matter on TV, it is important that people see Black Lives Matter issues, you know, in day-to-day -day life and that it's on tv to educate people um and then when people moan that it's on tv it just boils my blood i just can't even deal with how ignorant people can be okay so there's the finished spread obviously you get a little bit of glare with the viv wiggle but that's what it looks like i think you do get an idea of what the foiling is like other than the glare of the four boxes. I don't know how many um, glossy kits I'm going to be using, which is a bit of a problem because I've recently bought quite a few glossy kits, but oh well, I will deal with that. Um, I'll probably not use glossy overlays generally and put like non-glossy overlays on them so the kit becomes like matte, um, but there's one kit, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll deal with that when I get to it. Hopefully other plan with me's where I'm not using glossy kits won't be, the glare won't be as bad and we'll play um if these lights aren't working i might have to replace them but i don't really know what with but anyway sorry that it's been a hot mess and all over the place i really do um my head's not really been in it after after it went hot messy i got really upset and my head's not really been in it so i'm sorry um for that i hope you enjoyed the video anyway i did debate just speeding this up and voiceovering the whole thing but i've left it because i think it's important that you see that not all spreads come together beautifully and we're excited about them um yeah but anyway Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like down below what you thought of this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.